Okay, so here we have the Wise Foods uh, Chili Mac, as Maria Osmond would say, for emergencies, uh, every day, be wise, be ready. Uh, this is one of those things that kind of like the Bear Creek stuff, which kind of bridges a little bit of a gap between long-term storage survival food and just something you'd have in a pantry. The thing is, this is no refrigeration type stuff. And unlike Mountain House, it's available at regular grocery store prices. Now, personally, I'm kind of developing a preference for the Bear Creek stuff. Uh, but there's different menu items and different things. This one, the Chili Mac, has the, you know, the, the dehydrated chili powder with some beans and stuff in it. And then the macaroni. It's our basic macaroni like you'd have in a macaroni and cheese. And... A dry packet which you don't want to put into the uh, boiling water. Instructions on all of this are that you boil the water separately and then you stir this into the boiling water, you cover it, you let it go. So if you're short on fuel, let's say in a camp stove or something like that, you, you, as long as you can make boiling water you can do this stuff. Um, Long-term cooking, if you have like a uh, one of those 12 volt crock pots that I did a review on uh, a couple years ago, that can work. This this can work as a in vehicle 12 volt crock pot situation or in a uh, smaller off grid system crock pot situation. It can do that type of thing that we would fix up with, let's say venison or pork or beef or some sort of a uh, lizard meat, uh, snake, turtle, alligator, uh, alligator tail. Really good with this sort of a thing. Um, Something a little fatty, like alligator tails, really good. Chicken, eh, I don't know. Uh, people do that. It's a personal preference thing. And uh, you generally, some people put a milk product in with this, some won't. You know, personal preference. The reason I have high hopes for this is they actually give a lot of the chili powder with this. So if you add other stuff, if you add other vegetables to it or something like that, You've got enough chili powder in there that it's it's still going to make chili. It's not going to dilute it very much. Okay, so the recommended thing is to combine this with boiling water. Let it sit. Now this is where thermos cooking can work. All right, so here we are after about a uh, half hour to 45 minutes of reconstituting. 15 minutes didn't cut it. It took a while for everything kind of to absorb and all that. Uh, again, thermos cooking would work. The taste on this was uh, not so great. I'm going to call this survival level, definitely not everyday level. Uh, the uh, Bear Creek stuff, far superior. Uh, there is some stuff in here that I think it's that textured bean protein to make it kind of resemble meat. Uh, I had to add some vegetable oils, some spices to this to make it palatable. I uh, This is going to be used as a side dish with some beef. Uh, so, you know, totally, as far as uh, this goes, I'm going to rate this as survival food. It's not everyday use. You definitely need to dress this up in order for it to be palatable. Otherwise, you're kind of getting into that salted cardboard flavor. And uh, definitely, you want to add something oily. You want to add some additional spicing to it. Uh, I use vegetable oil. Olive oil would work, even bacon fat would work to uh, kind of spruce this up. Okay, serving suggestion again, hunter retreat type of stuff. I'm using beef, again, you could use venison, a little sour cream on top because I have it. Uh, this is, you know, almost refugee food grade stuff, higher end of refugee food. It's uh, going to make Chef Boyardee look like fine gourmet. You gotta add stuff to it in order to make it palatable. That's just been uh, my experience with this wise food uh, chili.